Hello YouTubers, my name is Attila Mate from Blue Sky Photography and today I would like to talk to you about uh, uh, something which is really uh, interesting in your portrait photography and that would be the Zonji, I don't know if I uh, pronounced it well but uh, I hope so, the Zonji Speed Booster or the, how they call it Lens Turbo because Speed Booster Metabons call it Speed Booster and Zonji will call Lens Turbo so uh, this is the box of the Zonji uh, Optics Lens Turbo and uh, I'm not really good in unboxing so I won't do any unboxing I will talk straight away you know about uh, image quality and these kind of things you know because I think that is nonsense you know to do any unboxing or something like that so uh, it's a pretty secure box you know rather than that nothing important in it so I already mounted the lens turbo on my camera <clears throat> so why is this important in your photography there you can see the the lens turbo mounted on the 85 millimeter f1.4 uh, Zeiss lens now this is a 1.4 Zeiss lens on an APS-C size camera this lens will act like um, 130 millimeter or 135 roughly something like that uh, f 1.8 ish depth of field wise and light wise it will act like a 1.4 lens on a full frame camera now what does it help the lens turbo or the speed booster the speed booster will help to collect all the light which comes in the lens and focus it on the sensor because if you don't have the lens turbo the, you have a dumb adapter then the light will come in the lens and it will hit the sensor directly but because the lens area the the, the lens is bigger it's made for full frame uh, sensor to cover bigger area that's why a lot of light will lo with lose will will get lost like i say because it will hit near the sensor yeah so the sensor is not big enough now what the lens turbo does it will collect all that light which comes in through the lens and it will focus it on the sensor, on the APS-C size sensor. Now, that's why you cannot use a lens turbo or a speed booster only on a smaller sensor than the lens was designed. So the lens was designed for a full frame. You can use a lens turbo on an APS-C or a micro four thirds camera. You cannot use a full frame lens on a full frame camera with a lens turbo or speed booster. No, it's not possible. You can use on a full frame camera a lens made for medium format and then use it on the full frame with speed booster it's also possible i don't know if it does exist that kind of speed booster i don't think so because that's not really popular but uh, mostly it will exist the lens turbo from full frame to aps-c or micro four thirds now like i said for me it was really important the image quality and I say this all the time that I'm an image quality nerd you know I like my images as best quality possible so uh, why did I purchase the lens turbo first of all I wanted to see if this Zonji lens turbo because this is a Chinese manufacturer yeah Mitacon Mitacon will uh, will manufacture this this Zonji lens turbo actually it's a Mitacon product you know so Mitacon is pretty good because they have pretty good lenses on the market and uh, I wanted to see if this lens turbo will deteriorate the image quality of the lens. If it doesn't deteriorate the image quality of the lens, then it's very useful because you will gain one stop of light extra. So what does that mean? If I have a 1.4 lens on my APS-C size camera, with the lens turbo, I will have a 1.2 lens on my APS-C size camera, uh, lightwise. I'm not talking about depth of field wise yeah so this lens uh, let's say it again in APS-C because that was full frame before so in APS-C this lens is it's not 1.4 it's kind of 1.8 ish but with the lens turbo it will go back to 1.4 so actually on APS-C this lens will act like on a full frame not depth of field wise light wise and I will um, prove you because I did some tests over here regarding the depth of field and the depth of field will not change it will change the light gathering ability that will change and it will change the angle of view 
So the lens, the lens uh, uh, at this moment with the lens turbo, it sees 0.7 crop factor, 0.71, something like that. Without the, without the speed booster, with a dumb adapter, this lens will see 1.5 uh, angle of view crop factor. So it means like the angle of view, it will be like 135 millimeter without the lens turbo. With the lens turbo, it will be kind of 100 millimeter, 110 between. I, I didn't do the maths, I just say like that, you know, but it's kind of over there. So you can, it's 0 0.7. It cuts the crop factor of 1.5, it cuts in half kind of. So it gets closer to full frame, light wise and angle of view. Not depth of field. I will uh, I will show you the photos in my computer where you can see that uh, the image quality, how it is and how it uh, deteriorates or not. In my opinion, this is a great quality product. I tell you, I was very surprised because uh, the Metabon Speed Booster, which is the same like this lens turbo, and uh, it costs uh, 600 euro. Six five six hundred euro. I'm not exactly the, at the moment the price, but it was six hundred over six hundred euro. It was when I looked last time on it. Now this one, it will cost uh, brand new. It will cost hundred and thirty five euro. Now in dollars, it will be probably the same, roughly the same. You know, it's no difference. Now if you buy on eBay, I bought this on eBay, second hand, but in excellent condition. If you buy from a person who has great positive feedbacks, 100% positive feedbacks, and says that, look, I use just a few times, you know, this is no scratch, no nothing, you know, even on the lens, because this one, this lens turbo has a lens inside the, uh, the adapter. That's the difference between the, the dumb adapter and the, the lens turbo. You see, that's the lens turbo. And there's a lens. And this is a Nikon G to a Fuji FX and because it is it has also a ring on it which one can control the aperture on the Nikon G lenses so even if the lens doesn't have an aperture ring I can control with this ring the aperture of the Nikon G lenses so it has this glass in it and the glass is in excellent condition there's nothing on it really so if you can find on eBay a good copy then you can buy it with 90 euro. I bought this lens with 90 euro. Uh, not lens, sorry, the, the lens turbo. So let's get into my computer. I will show you the images I shot. I shot just some test images over here. You know, I will go out and I will have a portrait photo shoot with this. But for the moment, I just shot with the, uh, just a few test images, you know, in there. And I will show you the test images to see the image quality and uh, there's no difference, you know, there's, it doesn't deteriorate the image quality of the lens almost at all, I tell you. It's really, 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 so it's a hair difference. And this is a great advantage if you need light. If you have plenty of light, you don't need to use this because depth of field will not uh, change, just, uh, just the angle of view and uh, you, you get more light. But if you need light, this is a lifesaver, I tell you, full one stop of light. That's a lot. So let's get into my computer and let's see those photos. So we are in my computer now and uh, let's open up Zoner Photo Studio and let's see those photos. Now I just uh, uh, paired over here some photos so you can see and uh, uh, over down, down here you can see the EXIF data but uh, unfortunately because this adapter doesn't have electronic contacts you will have to trust me on the aperture because it will says only the aperture f00 it will say the shutter speed and the ISO but it will not say the aperture because it's a dumb adapter you know it doesn't have electronic contacts and also the speed booster you know it does not have any electronic contacts so it will say f00 but in the same time I can promise you that I did the, uh, the same aperture all the time. So uh, it, there is nonsense, you know, to make uh, differences in the aperture. So uh, just look at first time, we will look at f1.4. This is f1.4 on the Zeiss and uh, yeah, all the these photos were made with the Zeiss lens. So with, with one lens, you know, there is no difference. So you can see over here on the left side, you can see this is with the speed booster or I will call it speed booster, it, they call it lens turbo, whatever. I will say speed booster because uh, it's more comfortable for me. So uh, this is with the speed booster, this is without the speed booster. Now you can see that on the left side, 
the angle of view is much bigger. You can see that the plant is further down and you can see that the, you can see also from the room but in here the plant is almost covering the full frame the the, the whole frame of the sensor so um, this is the difference between the angle of view what i was talking about that the crop factor will be cut in half so let's get now closer and let's see the details now you can see this was focused obviously manually yeah so the focus it will not be uh, roughly exactly the same place it will be roughly on the same place you can see that the focus is down here on the on this leaf and over here over here yeah this leaf is further away so this is out of focus this also you can see over here kind of the same you see this leaf is out of focus this is the same this is the same this is the same so it's kind of the same area now we are zoomed in now about 100 percent now look at this this is the detail over here and this is the detail over here do you see any difference because i don't see any difference honestly now this is uh, more than 100 percent it's almost 200 percent because it starts to pixelize you know already the photo but still you cannot see difference in quality i mean this this is unbelievable i tell you this chinese uh, manufacturer is really good in this uh, in this thing i i wouldn't imagine at all i tell you to have this good image quality image quality and if you look this plant is very heavily backlit and you can see the chromatic aberration over here without the the uh, speed booster yeah and you can see the chromatic aberration is not worse at all even in some situation it's kind of a bit better you know there is not so much chromatic aberration in it it's not bad in the other one as well but you can see over here a little bit over here you know you can see a little bit but not too much but it doesn't affect the chromatic aberration at all so image quality is the same at 1.4 now let's see f12 sorry not 12 f2 this is at f2 now if you get at f2 we get closer again you see that the focus is on this leaf kind of yeah on this leaf the focus is here over here and you can see again that there is no difference at all look at the details there is no difference at all I tell you it's the same image that's very surprising I tell you now this is the third photos this is one point uh, sorry not one point it's 2.8 f 2.8 so we get closer again at f 2.8 and you can see again that the speed this this side is the speed booster this side is without the speed booster all the time yeah so uh, you can see the details are exactly the same you can l zoom in even further the photo already starts to, you can see the pixels the details are there no difference at all now this was f 2.8 now i will make i will show you a photo from outside now this is outside and a very very heavy backlit situation because the sun was hitting from there so you can see this side again is the with speed booster this is without speed booster and you can see over here that the sun you almost can see over here on this corner is so so overexposed and you can see on this shot the difference of exposure as well again this shot was made with f 2.8 so uh, it's um, it's a little bit wider aperture but I did that to have shallower depth of field so we can see I focused on the tree and I wanted to see on the tree the details you know if, if uh, the lens turbo or the speed booster will destroy the details so let's get closer to the tree and let's see the details now the oh sorry I forgot to mention the only uh, difference you can see in this image that there is is that the lens turbo will create a little bit cooler images you see this is without the lens turbo and this is with the lens turbo and that will create a little bit cooler image cooler images you see over here that it's a little bit bluish so when i finished uh, with the photos i had to change a little bit the white balance you know so that's that's the only thing i had to do 
but now let's see the details so if we get close to the tree you can see that the details the, the focus was exactly on the tree yeah and you can see over here that look the photo starts to pixelize almost now so this is already pixelizing so this is more than 100 percent zoomed in and look at those details it is exactly the same you can see the depth of field starts it's it's falling off here falling off over there so the depth of field is kind of from here to here and here is the same you can see that it's falling off here falling off there so the depth of field is this it's focused on the tree exactly so the tree it is in focus now i don't see honestly i don't see any difference in image quality with this any difference at all this is my opinion now Probably if I zoom in 200% or something, you know, I will find a hair of a difference, but that is so small, that is negligible, completely negligible. And if we compare with the Metabon Speed Booster, which is 600 euro, and this is 130 euro, I think that this is the best buy. If you want to, uh, to get a Speed Booster, you know, this is the best buy what you can get. So, uh, I hope that this video was helpful to you guys. I hope that you liked it. If you liked it, please like and subscribe and share my videos. If you have any question in regards to the speed booster or if you have, if you want to add something to this video, feel free and leave a comment down below. If you want to, um, if you want me to make another test, you know, with different positions or different type of subjects, you know, feel free and leave a comment down below. I, I will try to do it, you know, and upload it. But in my opinion, this is pretty convincing that the speed booster or the lens turbo, whatever you call it. Yeah, the Zonji Speed Booster Lens Turbo is very, very good quality and good deal for 130 euro. If you need light, that's the best way to go. So, if you like my videos, please like and subscribe and hit the notification button here, yeah, the subscribe button to get notified when I upload another video. And other than that, I wish you a great day and I'll see you in the next one. Take care, guys. Only one of me to shield you all from the enemy You're a superhero You're a superhero